sticking with it. Moore just in, first time, first bucket. Welcome back, Justin Moore. Wow, you could not. An offensive rebound as Moore sets up Odin, who buries it. And that's a dagger right there. They missed the three point. Monmouth just trying to stem the tide. Allen trying to get him on the board. No, and he gets it back for Monmouth. Great hustle play. Sets up Collins, and finally, Monmouth cracks the scoreboard. Hawks really trying to pressure defensively. Williams got a size advantage here inside on Vaughn. And he takes him to school for the old-fashioned three-point play opportunity. Finish. But then he takes it away. And Moore leaves it for Owen. You really can't do it much better than that. The player really came alive, and they're relying on him heavily this weekend. Ball had an open look, couldn't knock it down. Huga, though, for the follow. And Zach Spiker's seen it up. They could really use a big offensive second half from him. Oh, Cruz knocks down the triple off the unselfish play. Drexel leads by 17. All the time, the second half is a different ball game, and they're coming trying to trap up top once again. Justin Moore, that was effective in the first half. Odin finds a wide open. Oh, Cruz is set in three in the second half. But if Miscommunication, showtime for Williams. So now Rick Callahan will take over on the sidelines for Monmouth. Ruth able to finish near the rim. It's a great finish by Miles Ruth. And really, I, but I, I think, Matt, what you said really just sums it up. It just has not been there today for Monmouth because of the way that the shots have been altered. They have not been able to get in a rhythm. And that one's from way downtown. Halfway back to Philadelphia from Coltrane, Washington. When you have those positive experiences. It just makes your team believe. It really feeds into the culture. What a pass. Williams as the shot clock expires. Unbelievable, but 